All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my 2022 drummer's gift slash wish list idea. So if you have a drummer in your life that you are looking to get a gift for this holiday season, this is the video. This is what you'll need to know. Uh, I have plenty more ideas off camera. This is not it, I promise. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to run through all of these, kind of explain what they do and what they can be used for. I will have Amazon links to all of these down in the description or whatever service is easier to get them from. Like I know this bag and then those sticks are easier to get from a certain website, so I will link those as well. I will link the easiest website to get them from. So starting off right over here, we have cymbal felts. We are losing these things all the time, let me tell you. I just picked this pack up, a little four pack, I think like $4 or something like that. Super, super cheap, super, super useful. They are the little pieces of felt that go right here to prevent the cymbal from rumming up against the metal on the cymbal stand. They are used on every single cymbal stand. I am not kidding when I told you that. Other than that, these are just super useful to have. Another thing we lose all the time are drum keys. Su arguably the most important tool that a drummer could have in his toolbox. This is what goes on the lug nuts in order to tighten or loosen to change the sound of your drums. Super, super helpful to have. I believe I have like three or four of these things because I lose them so much. Um, another thing that I think is largely underrated is a microfiber towel. A microfiber towel can be used to clean off drums, just like that, as well as cymbals. Um, so if you're playing live or if you're taking pictures or you're going to be filming YouTube videos, like in my case, this can be used and is super helpful to clean with. It's uh, super efficient because it takes all the dust and grime and specks and whatnot away, pulls it away from the surface so it does not scratch it, it just gets embedded in the cloth, wash it like normal, you're good to go. Uh, fourthly, we have mutes. Um, another option to this is the Evans DB1 symbol, and I know there's some other mesh heads. Um, but here's a picture of what they look like and uh, Those just go essentially on top of the drums that you already have So you'll take your regular heads off and then you'll put the mesh ones on and they just reduce the sound an enormous amount They also have some DB1 symbols uh, Which essentially just have a bunch of holes in them and that makes it significantly quieter So these are just some mutes these can go right on top of the drums that I already have These are for symbols and then these ones here are for actual drums. That's why they're circles so super fun to have if you're in a smaller space or you don't want, or you have somebody that you don't want to bother, like if you're in an apartment. Secondly, snare wires. Uh, these things are breaking pretty, pretty often. Uh, this is a Pure Sound 14 inch 20 strand steel coil. Um, again, the size is very important because it will vary for each type of drum that you have. Uh, for, for me, I have a 14 inch snare drum. So if I got a 13 inch snare wire, that would not work because it would be too short. Uh, but if I got a 15 inch snare wire, same thing, it'd be too long. So you have to measure the drums for the person that you're getting them for. And there's a couple other things that I'll talk to talk to you about later on that imply that same principle. So that's pretty important. Get the right size, uh, but you can't really go wrong with a 20 strand. 20 strand is pretty typical. Um, I think they go up to 30 or 40, uh, but I've never tried one of those. So I cannot testify, uh, but I've had 20s my whole life and it sounds... Sounds perfectly fine for what I play, and I play rock, harder metal, uh, really, really, any, really anything. Um, to make the sounds, we need sticks. So there's two types of sticks that you can kind of get your the drummer. Um, you have their typical sticks, which for me is the Promark Rebound 5B Fire Grain Sticks. I absolutely love these things. Um, super fast rebound, just super fun to play. Another option is to get find out the favorite drummer that your drummer has, like if they are, um, I'll use Slipknot as an example right here, Jay Weinberg, he has his own signature Vader drumsticks. Pick them up a pair, of the, a pair of these, they will absolutely love them. They may or may not play them, it's hard to say. Uh, but yes, I do not play mine, just cause it's kinda cool to have, uh, but yeah. So get them a pair of signature sticks, seeing you know, as it's from their favorite artist, they'll probably cherish them, and that is a gift that they will not forget. Moving over to this section, we have the drum dial. This is my absolute favorite drum tuner that I have ever used. It works flawlessly. It is a little little spike guy that sits right on the drum head, right by these lug nuts right over here. So you will set it right about here-ish, push it down, and then it'll give you a reading on that little screen. And then you just tune all of the lug nuts around the uh, side of the drum to get to the same tension all around the drum, getting a more even sound. Right here, we have the, uh, do not know the brand name, but it's the DB90 
it's a staple of all studios and all drummers. Classic metronome. If, you, if you're a drummer and you don't have a metronome, get yourself a metronome. Thank me later. Practice with a metronome. It'll pay off in the long run. Over here, we have the Evans EQ Pods. I just recently picked these up. Let's see if I can open them one-handed. And I can. These are drum dampening gels. It is a seven pack so there's two layers here as you can see there's one very large one right here then there's these regular sized ones they come in a neat little travel case i think these are like i don't know how much like seven dollars or something like that um take that with a grain of salt though i'm not too sure same thing goes for moon gel uh this is pretty typical right here same kind of idea but i prefer the eq pods now because they are firmer and they don't move around as much and they're just thicker and they feel denser and they have a lot more dampening for the size right here earplugs these are this is a brand new pair actually so pretty self-explanatory if you're a drummer use ear protection please use ear protection please 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 use ear protection um it is arguably the most important form of protection that we have uh if for the long run at least uh because if you're playing stuff that gets to 95 to 100 decibels in volume. It's not something you want to be around unprotected. So always wear earplugs or in-ear monitors. That's what I personally use because of what I will get to later. But yeah, so either earplugs or a set of in-ear monitors. Can't really go wrong. Um, see what they are currently using and I just get them another pair of that so you don't get them what they don't want. Right here, we have the Evans Real Feel 12 inch two-sided practice pad. I also, that's my last name. <laughs> I love this thing. Well, actually, you guys already know my last name. So yes, there's a harder surface right here, and then there is a rubber surface right here. Different types of rebound, different feels. I love this thing so much. I believe there's a six inch option as well that's more portable. So that's exactly half of this size. So about that wide, I'd say. Yeah, I'd go with the 12 inch, because this can just sit right on top of the drum of your choice hit it with zero sound whatsoever so every drummer needs a good practice pad pick them up a practice pad if you want something that's a little bit louder um there is it's a microphone there is i don't even know what this is honestly mapex practice pad makes a bit more sound than that so if you're looking for something louder there's a ton of these around looks like that on the sides so if you're looking for something like this there you go um last three things i'll get to this we have gloves. These are literally just baseball gloves. I picked them up at Target. Because um, if you know, the drummer that you know gets a lot of blisters or calluses, these calluses are from weightlifting and from my job. So those don't all necessarily come with drumming. But I do have some on the side of my thumbs that do happen from drumming. I've also had some blisters on the side of my finger just like that. They suck. If you're prone to getting those, get them some drum gloves. Thank them later. It'll help an insane amount. Uh, second to last, we have a stick bag. This is the Promark, I want to say, everyday stick bag. Something like that. There is a huge, huge, huge pocket in the front. Here is a drumstick for size, for scale. Uh, yeah, so a zipper, zipper opens it on the top. I don't think I cannot open it with one hand. But yeah, it goes super wide, super deep. It's about, maybe I'd say about that wide, probably. Again, drumstick for scale. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here, but on the inside, there's even more storage. There are some hooks right here, so you can attach it to your floor tom, just like this. Go, hooks go around the sides so and it's suspended. Put as many sticks as you want in here. This is one big open pocket. These are two separated pockets. You could probably fit, I don't know, four sticks in here. Yeah, three or four sticks in one of those. Um, I just put some brand new pairs in here just so you guys can see. I've also got a pencil in here. It's good to have. Just write down, make adjustments to a set list even. And then there's this small pocket right in here, which I have a second drum key in, just in case I forget one for whatever reason. Then I have an extra always in my stick bag. Stick bag, something every drummer needs. Uh, I went far too long without one of these things, and since I got this, it has been incredible. Huge, huge, huge fan of this thing cannot recommend it enough lastly we have a significantly more expensive option the yamaha ead 10 i have had this thing for a couple months now i absolutely love it this is my model as you can see i've had a couple stick shots here and there on the screen and on here it's held up perfectly i just cleaned it off but yeah i absolutely love this thing i believe this thing runs around 599 dollars usd 
uh, that is US dollars. I do not know the currency conversions. You can do that on your own time. Uh, so yes, this is the brain unit, and then this is the actual mic and trigger unit. Uh, I have an entire video dedicated to this thing. Go check that out so I don't waste too much time on here. Um, but yes, so when you're recording drums, this is perfect for any content creator, which is what I use it for. In music production, you can add distortion, compression, and all that stuff to your drums, but you can't typically do that until they're already recorded. This, you can adjust real time using the reverb effect and a trigger knob. You can change the sound of your drums instantly, and it's just this one, whoa, it's just this one little mic that sits on the hoop of your bass drum just like this, and it picks up the entire kit, and it works flawlessly. And hey, there's a testament to how tough this thing is. I just dropped it accidentally, and it did not phase it. So yes, cannot recommend this thing enough. I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for something, have a little bit more of a budget, there you go. This is what I'd recommend. Moving over to here, we have drum heads. Um, actually, that does remind me, I'll get to those in a second, about the drumsticks. If you are unsure of what type of drumsticks that your drummer uses, uh, 5A, uh, it doesn't really matter, just 5A, these are 5B, as you can see right there, this is 5B, they would say 5A. 5A is a very, very, very standard, uh, pretty typical. Anybody would be happy, get them a pair of 5As, make their day. Over here, now to the drum heads. So, drum heads are kind of a picky topic because uh, some drummers prefer coated, some drummers prefer clear. Personally, I'm a clear person for the toms and then coated for the snare. And that's just that's just how I am. That's just what I prefer. That's the sound I like. So if you're going to get someone drum heads, I would recommend finding, firstly, the um, type that they have. Um, so like we have Evans right here, EC2, well, EC2s technically because it's a pack. Uh, but yes, so Evans EC2 is what I use, and then the diameters of the drums are also very important to get that. Uh, you can either just, well, A, you can really ask a drummer for any of these, but I have a 14-inch snare that is from lug nut to lug nut, just going straight across on the top. Typically, snares are 13 or 14 inches, uh, so if you get a reading like 13 and a half, try remeasuring, because it should be one or the other. It goes by increments of one inch. And then I have a 12, 13, 16, well, actually two 16-inch floor toms, and then a 22-inch kick, which I'll get to. But yes, for when it comes to stuff like this, I would recommend asking the drummer what they use uh, because you don't want to get them something that they're not happy with or something that they just don't like whatsoever that they will never use because then that's just a waste of money. Um, but yeah, so HD dry in the snare, EC2s on the toms, and then over here, a lot of people's favorite kick drum head at least my favorite the emad 2 um it's obviously not in here it is empty because it is currently on my kick although it does come with a second little piece of foam right here that goes around the rim of the batter side of the drum so that's kind of cool how it's adjustable like that uh but yes so cannot recommend this thing enough i know it just says rock and gospel here this is good for any genre gives you a super nice fat hit absolutely love this thing love it to death i will be buying more of these again get the size correct or the type and brand correct uh because again you don't want to get them something that they're not going to use but yes i'm 22 inch emad 2 by evans final two things here we have well three things symbol bag pretty typical you got a pouch in here that you can put some sticks in i don't have anything in there right now i don't think oh that's uh I don't know what that is, but that's in there. Uh, but yes, so a cymbal bag is pretty typical. Uh, you have a little spot for some hi-hats over here, which I believe I actually have in there. Yep, there you go. Some hi-hats you got in there. And actually, yes, you can't really go wrong with cymbals. I'm unsure of this brand, but there you go. So I will just link a regular cymbal bag just in the description. Uh, probably one by Zildjian or Meinl because they are actual cymbal manufacturers. Talking about cymbals. Get your drummer a cymbal. Um, pretty easy to tell what kind they have. Logo is typically on the bottom for me. That is Zildjian uh, K Custom Dark Crash 16 inch. It's it's pretty hard to go wrong. A drummer will make it work. I have so many different brands. I've got Sabian. I got Peisty. I got Zildjian. I got everything, man. Uh, but yeah, so this cymbal I just discovered has a lot of cracks in it. I think I counted five. Uh, there is one right there, right at the tip of my thumb. So, uh, yeah, 
just get them some symbols. They'll thank you later. Um, but yes, if you want to get them an actual symbol that they are currently using, just look on the front. The logo should be there. If not, you can always ask them. Again, that's what I'm going to recommend every single time for these. Ask the drummer in your family what they use and what they prefer. Lastly is a custom drum rug. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way. This is sheerly just my opinion. Uh, but I got this from a guy by the username at Heckin Rugs on Instagram. I will leave a link to his profile down in the description. Amazing dude. I know him in person. He is an incredible guy. All I wanted was just a snare drum. He added in all the flames for me. A little bit of an, of an extra charge, but yes. So if you are looking for a custom rug, that is something that I cannot recommend enough. It is an awesome gift. Um, it's just something that the drummer in your life will absolutely love. So you can either get them something like this, or I'm sure there's a bunch of pre-made rugs that you can just have him recreate, or you can use really any company you want. But again, shout out to at Heckin Rugs on Instagram. That is H-E-C-K-I-N-R-U-G-S on Instagram. Cannot recommend this enough. Again, it is not me, even though his name on there is Tony Baby. I promise it's not me. I promise you it's not me. But yes, super awesome guy. I absolutely love these things. He does all sorts of all sorts of designs. You'll be super safe getting a rug from him. Again, not sponsored or endorsed in any way by him. I just love the thing. So either get him something towards their favorite drummer or even, hey, just something like this. Completely up to you. But that will conclude my 2022 drummer's wish list and gift idea videos. Uh, if there's anything that I missed, leave those down in the comments, let me know, and I'll be sure to include them next year. Uh, but also, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, whatever it may be. Um, all of that will also be linked down in the description. So feel free to check all that stuff out. Uh, yeah, hope you all have a fantastic holiday season. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Till next time.